everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Luigi Gives Up! This is Miles Luigi, where today we're gonna go ahead and go into Lightning Strikes. I have a feeling that the area to my right, it might be the Red Switch Palace, but let's go ahead and go into this level and figure out... What the hell is that? Uh, uh, what the... We have one of the worst sounding grunge lines I've ever heard, and what are you? Oh, blast off. <laughs> okay then, um... The, the thing is, the Super Mario World's guitar is not good at grunge at all, and this song sounds very grunge-y. And well, we just jumped right into some <laughs> lightning. I suppose the idea around this is a bit extreme! Grunge! 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 I'm curious, I'm able to turn off layers. No, no offense to the person who made that sound. Uh, I'm like, I have no idea what the hell half of these do. That's offset mode. That's space time rewind. Uh, I could always have tech that I replace the music, and now I have to deal with this stupid grunge. Once again, no offense to the person who made the song. Against the original song is just fine. It's just you bring it to Super Mario World and so Super Mario World guitar. It's just not made for this type of song. No! I'm like one screen into the level and dying! Alright, now after we've gotten past the dastardly uh, bullet blaster, I guess you could call it lightning blaster this time. Do we go up or do we go down? You're gonna go come back late, but I can, probably can't make it up alive. I've, it's been a long time since I tried to Koopa Shell Hop, but I'm willing to bet you maybe I could Koopa Shell Hop this. Oh, shit! I just did it! Yeah! I'm... can't go any further than this, though. Damn, it's like, holy crap. I got a Koopa Shell... Oh, I can't make it. I got a Koopa Shell Hop the first try... Ooh, this is probably gonna crush me. Because this thing looks like it's blasting me off really, really fast, and the last thing I want to do is tempt fate and have it crush me. Holy crap! First try Koopa Shell Hop! Yikes! Ooh, that could have ended up leading to death. That was very, very bad. Seeing all the light bulbs in this level, it kind of makes me wonder if this is like the remains of Bright Man's stage in Mega Man 4. <laughs> You know, there's light bulbs everywhere, it's very bright- oh gosh, lots of uh, the conveyor belt things ready to pull me in every direction since all my power-ups are already annihilated, I gotta be really careful. Once again, I I've got a gut feeling these things are made to crush you, I'm gonna- yikes, I almost ran into another one. I don't feel comfortable going into these things unless Cyber somehow ASM hacked like the crushing out of this level so you can't get crushed, that'd actually be really weird, I'm curious what happened if I'd run into a wall. Now I'm actually kinda curious, and I kinda wanna crush myself into a wall- no! Alright, and I just spin jump that thing. I know regular bullet bills you spin jump through, and the fact that I was able to spin jump on top of that needs me to know and understand that if I jump on it normally, it will lead to death. Ugh! Uh, baseball. Uh, out of all charging chucks in the game, the baseball chucking ones, or in this case the lightning chucking ones, have always been, at least to me, the most annoying ones in the game, so I'm really happy to just get past that one. Is that chucking chuck? Yes, he is gonna come. Oh! He tackled Luigi! Oh! Fourth and twenty-six. All right, I guess this time we're gonna have to take the lower route. Although yeah, there's a power up on that upper route where I could have shell hopped. Ooh, that could have ended very poorly, and this could end really poorly. Uh, baseball Chuck. Uh, he's gonna come after me. Stop shooting thunder. Thank you. Damn it! Well, at the very least, I'm back to where I left off last time, so let's just go ahead and continue with the level. The thing I've been thinking about is I've died quite a number of times before making here, and I'm really hoping I find a midway- Oh, thank god! Oh, midway point. Sets. So this level, conceptually speaking, at least from a Super Mario World standpoint, I mean, we got com almost complete us. custom graphics. The only custom graphics we don't have, you know, are the enemies and Luigi and stuff like that. And the background. Ooh, there's the key. Whole ice tap to find the key. So the only real hidden parts of the secret exit would happen to be the key part to the keyhole in this equation. And I really, really despise charging chucks in this level. I, I know I already said, but I'm going to reiterate it again. The charging chucks that throw the baseballs are the worst, and they're even playing the wrong sports. Ah! Not only that, they, their pattern in this ROM hack, I'm wondering if it was ASM hacked, because uh, I should probably get up here if I just spin jump on one of these bad boys. There we go. Hey, there's my key! Woohoo! Let's get ahead of this lightning bolt and not get hit by that other lightning bolt. Yeah, charging chucks that play the wrong sport end up devastating Luigi's life by throwing lightning balls in his face, and they really, really hurt. Have you been hit, ever hit by, like, a fat... Ooh, that's a star. 
fastball, you know, baseball pitcher throws at 95 miles per hour and get hits by that. There's a reason the catcher, you know, wears all that protective gear because that really hurts. <laughs> Taking a hit to get to first base is not an ideal solution because that does hurt. Uh, with that said, I now have to get, make it back to the midway point in lightning strikes. And Damn, this level is hard, so wish me luck. Alright, don't hit that conveyor belt thing. Thank goodness gracious, and now we've made it to the second half of the level. Secret exit was not terribly difficult to find, and goodness gracious, you just have to take the upper path where you have to spin jump up. So now I guess we're just gonna have to move on forward and see exactly where that leads us to, because yeah, the key is up there. I'm surprised I actually didn't see it at first looking up there. I guess I was just gonna focusing on just moving on with the crazy level we've got going on here. Once again, I got a cop event you. It honestly feels like I'm on the uh, top of a football stadium springboard. Oh, so I didn't have to spin jump through this? I feel like doing that anyway. Oh god, no, 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 no. Kick you up. There we go. And then we just have to spin jump on you. There we go. Now I can use the springboard. I'm curious if you actually anticipated this cipher, because I kind of use the springboard up ahead if I can. Let's go now. Haha! -ha, there we go. Gotta just navigate past the Koopa football player, but it looked, it, honest to god, this level feels like we're like at the top, the roof of like a football stadium, you know, where there's a whole bunch of scaffolding and stuff like that, and you know, we've got the starry, damn, that starry background that appears in uh, some levels in Super Mario World, blind jump, oh, wow, the coins actually led me to uh, the correct area, so you got a Goomba, and we've got a Sumer Bro to contend with, so let the fire go away, do that, and I'm curious. Ooh, maybe you did anticipate a springboard being used for a dragon coin. Well, you never. No! Okay. So what I was trying to say before I got blasted by that last bolt of lightning air is that you never know what Miles Luigi has. Dude, Miles Luigi contest. Get through. I forgot the name of this level. It was lightning something. Ooh. Got another fire floor. Oh god, is this a Kaizo trap? Am I gonna get blasted? No, I'm not. I was afraid those platforms were gonna blast me back in the wall. Which, in theoretically, what's supposed to happen is you get blasted back into the wall and you just continue running forward. But we already know all those things blast you really fast, and that means they could probably blast you into a wall. That brings us to a level called Lightning Grudge. So, chances are we're gonna have even more super duper difficult lightning based levels up ahead. But first, I really wanna take care of this floating fortress, so. Let's uh, get into the Floating Fortress, and inside we enter, and our Floating Fortress, of course, takes place back on Donut Plains in Super Mario World. It's been a while since I've made that joke, actually. Oh gosh, it's Lavender Town theme again, and oh gosh, we have swinging maces, and oh god, that background's gonna give me vertical if it continues doing that. Let's hope we could just go inside the castle, and then that's the end of that, and... Oh my gosh, objection! There's a courthouse nearby, and Phoenix Wright is totally obliterating whoever the prosecution here. It's probably some Magic Koopa, because we all know Magic Koopas are the ones who become prosecutors. But that prosecutor is about to be put in his place, or her place, whichever it is. And because that is happening, we are now hearing the awesome music that happens whenever Phoenix Wright does that, because it's happening in the neighboring room. You know, the normal music to this level is something, you know, kind of cloudy and gives you the feeling that you know you're in a fortress high in the sky but nope there's a court case nearby and Phoenix Wright is kicking ass <laughs> so we get to hear this team instead oh uh, boy this floating fortress the floating courthouse objection anyway uh this level I noticed like to the left this mace isn't an example the mace like to the left it's actually like a pendulum mace which um, makes me really happy because you know that's how god damn it my power up just got annihilated the, uh, you know, this mace is a good example. You see how it's like swinging in a pendulum, it's not getting bonked in the head by it. But, you know, that's kind of how, you know, maces would actually work if, you know, it was in real life, not Super Mario World, they're just swinging in a circle like that. That's how they'd work if there was no gravity, but, you know, you have gravity. And if memory serves me right, um, you're able to calculate how long the period of a pendulum is as a function of its length and the acceleration due to gravity. I forgot the exact equation, but it's like, it involves pi in a square root. Let me actually see if I can remember. I think it's 2 pi 
times the square root of the length divided by gravity? Please tell me I'm right. Uh, I completely forgot the equation, but basically the period of a pendulum is completely dependent on the length of the pendulum and the uh, acceleration due to gravity, and since the acceleration due to gravity is usually consistent on Earth, unless you're high in the sky next to the epic corp case that's going up again, Calling objection causes acceleration due to gravity to lower. I do believe that's actually the equation to figure out the um, uh, period of a pendulum. You know, take that as you will, because obviously if you're picking a pendulum that has a period of a second to, like, Mars, its period will change by some factor I couldn't calculate off the top of my head. Ah, damn it, that was dumb of me. Okay, and now we just have to... Just a couple of last maces. Here we go! Into the store we go! Into the courthouse we go! We find Justice Dunst right here, ready to about to convict us for killing him the last couple of times. Whoa, crap. We obviously want to watch out for the uh, swinging maces. And one more hit. Oh, uh, damn it! I got killed by Justice Dunst! Damn it! Gotcha, Judge! Bye-bye! You're not gonna convict me today! Haha! <laughs> we did it, everyone! Took care of that Judge, he's no longer gonna make bad verdicts. <laughs> now that ought to take us to... Um, Lightning Grudge. I don't think this level is a secret exit, but I could be completely wrong, and in case I'm completely wrong, I would like to know. With that, one more level for today. It's called Lightning Grudge, and into we go. It also takes place on Donut Plains, as you can very clearly see. <laughs> okay, enough of that joke. I made it already once this part, and... Ah! I'm moving forward! No! Stop, Luigi! Stop, stop, stop! No! Why are you moving forward? Damn it! Ugh. Can't. Stop. Moving. Oh, curiosity. If I hold forward, that happens. If I hold back, this happens. Stop. Going. Forward, Luigi! Ah! Oh, okay. So I think I understand the concept behind this level. This is real ASM gimmickry going on, by the way. Oh, damn it! Where you have to bounce off of walls, and they're clearly badly bounced. Before we start jump cutting instead, the point I want to make here is that it's basically how well can you perform in a platform game if we completely remove your ability to move left and right and just jump? Oh, um, uh, basically, we're playing a platform game where we have a constant velocity vector, and now we have to control our um, vertical positioning and jumping and stuff like that. <laughs> and the only way we can go left and right is by bouncing off the walls. At least Luigi doesn't crush himself on the walls. Like, you run into a wall, like in, uh, oh gosh, what's the name of that NES game where you turn into a skeleton when you run into a wall? It's a rather difficult one, too, and it's based off, like, this cartoon game you play in an arcade machine. I forgot its name! But basically, not like that. We can run off the walls. And for example, here, to get the mushroom, we have to not jump out of the little pit here. And then we can jump out of the pit. <laughs> but this is kind of sort of an off scrolling level in a sense, since sort of we have a constant velocity vector on us. <laughs> it just switches when we bounce off the walls. So, <laughs> say la vie. Hmm. On the bright side, Oh god, really fast moving grinder there. We want to watch out for that super fast moving grinder here. The bright side, things are at least mixed up, so we're not just going forward dodging the enemies. I mean, that's definitely part of this level, but uh, we got to turn switches on and off, which means there is some strategy in this game. Oh gosh, it's not even a Fire Emblem game. You can probably tell I've been playing a specific Fire Emblem game recently with the moment I've brought up Fire Emblem. Uh, I'll answer the audience to you. What Fire Emblem game are you playing, Miles Luigi? Well, I really want to play the one in 3DS, but I don't have it yet, at least at the time of this recording, so I'm currently playing through Fire Emblem 6 because of my philosophy. You play through Fire Emblem 6 because that one's bullshit without being total bullshit like Fire Emblem 5. <laughs> Fire Emblem 6 is just enough bullshit, not too much bullshit, not enough bullshit, so it's the one I like playing through. Damn it, Grinder! Alright, Grinder. I'm gonna spin jump this time to knock it totally crying it off the face. I gotta tell you also the beginning of this level. It's quite annoying relatively speaking. Oh I pushed the jump button! Miles Luigi pushed the jump button. No, I am pushing the jump button! No, you are not. You dumbass! No! You dumbass! No! That was a close one. Given how slow-paced this level has 
been so far. I really hope. Don't hit the switch, by the way, Miles Luigi. I really, really hope there is a uh, a midway point after this part here. Also, hit the switch now, otherwise you have to you're gonna have to go through another iteration of that. On the bright side, I don't have to really worry too badly about running out of time unless I get stuck somewhere really bad. Because <laughs> you know, Cipher's not gonna make you run out of time if you do the level correctly, right? Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! God! Whew. Also, it's a good thing I hit the switch, otherwise I would not have been able to make that jump. Where's my midway point? Oh, okay, it must be down below. Uh, no, it's not. I'm gonna hit the switch. Okay, good. It better be damn up ahead. Oh god, just before we get to our midway point, we have to complete. No! No! God damn it! That's like three minutes of my life! I have to do it again! No! better. Welcome to the pit of agony. Can you, while under a constant velocity vector, hit all the blocks and not fall off? Oh god, it's gonna get closer. Come on, you can do this, Miles Lee. Don't run to the dry bones! Yeah! Oh god, I'm gonna die. I think I was supposed to hold right into the pipe instead of holding left. I've throughout that entire thing just because it looks funny. I've been holding the opposite direction instead of the correct direction. Also, thank the Lord that uh, I'm not no longer under the influence of a constant velocity vector because being under the influence of a constant velocity vector basically took away one of my main forms of movement. What the hell are you, a lightning bolt without a cloud? <laughs> you. Honestly, you're chasing me around like I say a Lakitu would, but you're not obviously controlled, you know, by a living being. You're just angry lightning bolt of despair and doom, and I really, really want that fire flower, please. There we go. Now I'm actually able to get that fire flower. But, uh, I, ooh, I kind of need to go up, actually. Oh, God, a guy grinder. <laughs> This is just spooky and scary, and if you remember, we're really high up above the sky, and there are brambles below us. And oh god, there's another damn traitor. I still don't feel any tor emotion towards those goddamn spike balls of doom and despair and wanting to kill you. And yikes! Woo, a long jump! <sighs> I should disable that layer again. You know, long jumps a fifth and involve jumping on a single block. Let's not die to the grind. Oh god, am I gonna make it there in time? Yes! Screw you, traitor! I got the mushroom first! And today, I think we wanna turn our HUD back on. Oh gosh. But you see, when you disable layer 3, it's very similar to uh, fighting Bowser at the end of the original like, Super Mario World. Now, it looks like we're fighting like the ghost of Lakitu's uh, vengeance. <laughs> you remember the Lakitu's he ran into in Lakitu's forest? This is the ghost of them for. Oh, you just had to press right, not left! Press right, not left! Ooh, a mushroom. <laughs> the ghost of Lakadoo's forest is coming back to kill us for trust passing into their forest. They are very mean and evil. And I mean, you can tell it's the... Oh gosh, look at that background. Yuck! You can tell it's the ghost of Lakadoo's forest because he's a ghost and he doesn't have his cloud anymore and he's angry and vengeful and trying to kill us. And Oh my gosh. Being under the influence of a constant velocity vector is not something I want to undergo. And matter of fact, you could tell this is like really, really dark areas. Look at those clouds. Man, I knew I want to stand underneath those clouds. Lakitu is no longer crazy because he's dead. <laughs> Finally, this cloud world is coming to an end and some regular gla grass lands are in sight. Or are they? Ooh. So we're going to actually probably enter into late game grass-like levels. I'll give it that. Late game grass-like levels, which will start with... You choose. Well, obviously, the normal exit will take us probably to the right, and the secret exit will probably take us to the left. It looks like we've got... Oh, wow. A complete split path world. And uh, Actually, since we've got split path world going on here... Since we've got split path worlds, hmm, I'm inclined to take the secret first, go entirely through that path, then go through the normal path second, and go through that path. I'll figure something out. Anyway, this has been Miles Luigi. See you all for the decision, the Everforce's whole incredibly important decision. See you all next time.